I don't think it's ever changed. You know, we've always been powerless, haven't we? You realise you haven't. There isn't any paradise, or there isn't this, there isn't that. You know, you're not free. I base the band lyrically on that. I've been writing music for 20 odd years, but when I started talking about actual things as opposed to some sort of love song, uh, then it started happening, you know what I mean? With everything else that's gone on over the last few years, lob that into the pot as well, and bang, there you've got it. See if it wants. People are just like, what the fuck's this? Because there hasn't been anything like that for such a long time. You know, and that's why we stand out, do you know what I mean? I've done everything. Factory work, warehouse work, security guard, worked in closed shops. I worked for local council, chicken factory, terrible, crushing. Yeah, I used to work with a guy. He used to work with Big Jay Williamson. He was on the call centre, I was a gaffer. We used to talk about sleeper mods back then, but they're only tiny. They, they represent the world that I live in, and uh, they're re realistic about it. That's, that's what they mean to me. Where's the world you live in? Where's that? It's shit. How I feel, and that a lot of other people feel now, you just can't ignore things anymore. If you've got any self-respect, then uh, you can't ignore things anymore. Are there any yeah, from local food feedback? Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Busy in there again. I don't know. It's almost like social cleansing, isn't it? You know what I mean? A lot of people just being stripped of any kind of help at all. So it is. It is politically powered, socially powered. You know, and from what I see, but also it's a craft as well. You know what I mean? I've learned and worked and studied it and studied it, and rewrote it, and done it, and worked it. And Gone to this, gone to that, and then finally met Andrew, and it all came into place. We are mix England, fucking dreaded wheat, Kellogg's cunts on bleak shits, our cock, the green light don't stop, the shit homegrown dealers of Berlin begging for lolly, and it's beautiful how the privilege still let them in. Tied up in knots. There's a sound of Brexit, Britain. Oh, I certainly wouldn't think that I'm any kind of voice of anything at the minute, you know. You know, the working class is feeling alienated. There was a massive turnout for the working classes with the vote. But I, th I just think, no, not really. I think it's a load of crap, isn't it? Wow, we're going to get a country back. Really? You know, you know, what country? Whose country is that? It's, it's never belonged to the people. Blaming minorities for this, that and the other. That's just fear, isn't it? A lot of people still aren't willing to come to terms with the truth of things. You feel pain, sorrow, um, hate, you know, constantly for the people that are, uh, you know, drawing up the rules, you know what I mean? More so these days because it's become a complete pantomime. And it's not going to go away, is it, you know? We're suddenly not going to wake up tomorrow morning and everything's going to be OK. And so the music that we make and the lyrics that I write will reflect that. We just roll along with the pain of it all, don't we? <laughs>